Hi there folks and welcome back to another Shifty Mover video and welcome back to part 4 of Vehicle Basics and the last of the vehicles we're going to be looking at this is the ladder truck or otherwise known as DLK I'm not sure what it stands for but uh, uh, there we go right so um, the ladder truck when you get bring this one comes out to all the major fires um, I haven't found any missions currently which actually require the use of a ladder and firefighting capabilities. You use the ladder for things like rescuing a cat from a tree or observing the fire when it's on higher higher levels of buildings, for example. But I haven't actually found any missions that require you to do any firefighting from the, uh, the basket on the ladder at the moment. That may change. That's just I haven't experienced the whole game yet. Okay, we're just going to open everything up, ready for operations. As you can see, I've set up the uh, small fire truck next to us because this truck um, doesn't have any firefighting capability from the basket without another truck providing the water and pressure. So we're just going to open everything up. As you can see, we've got a, ba a basic array of tools around the uh, vehicle. We have two breathing apparatus here. And the main difference with this wagon and some of the other wagons, this is the only one that I can find has got the uh, fans on board. Allows you to ventilate uh, the uh, the area after the fire has been extinguished, which you will need to do on the, the larger fire. So it has two fans on board, which you can... Uh, used to do that. Right, so we've just arrived at the scene. We need to deploy the wagon so we can use the crane. Uh, the engine needs to be running, which it is. You then come round to the back and uh, we have these two panels either side at the rear which deploy the stabilizers. So we're just going to use E when we look at it. Not on close. Come on, where is it? There it is. E. Uh, we're going to deploy the basket fold out basket, fold in basket, we'll fold out the basket and then we're going to deploy the uh, supports. Now the best way to do this is once you've selected E it puts you in first person view uh, but what I, I recommend you do is you press the middle mouse button to get to the external view here and then we use the W, A, S and D keys to deploy the um, stabilizer. So I'm going to press A which is left which pushes the stabilizers out and then S for powering them down till they touch the floor. Okay. E again to exit from that and then we need to do the same on the other side. So find the point where you can interact with the panel, press E, press external camera view, press D for right and press S to deploy. And it's the opposite to retract. So we press W to retract them and then left to bring them back in. Okay, let's deploy it out. Let's try and get the wagon level. That's close enough. Okay, so that's deploying the struts. Uh, using the fans, basically just find one of the fans you want to use press Q, walk up to where you want to deploy it, deploy it and it will automatically turn on as you can hear. The fan is on. Put it away because I don't want the fan running the whole time I'm making the video and back she goes. Right, using the crane. Using the actual ladder extension crane and basket. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the uh, the crane operator's seat. This is a two-man vehicle so one guy will be operating the uh, the controls at the back and one guy will be in the basket so E to climb the ladder walk up to the back press E to jump into the seat this will put you in first person view and look at the panel here press E and now we have control of the crane um, vehicle engine is on uh, select this button here to take over the basket controls. I've got the basket controls and again external camera may find useful for when you're maneuvering the camera of the, the ladder around. So we can press uh, forwards which is W, S, retract ladder, left and right uh, on the W, A, S and D keys, lowers the basket down to the floor or raises it back, back to the uh, horizontal position with left and right. We need the extra keys for this, this particular vehicle, so we use the arrow keys on the keyboard and we can 
lift her up and down with up and down keys and left and right will spin the whole uh, 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 boom shall we say the ladder with left and right as you can see okay let's bring the basket down so we can show you operating the basket from the basket And if you're playing in this view, you'll see it is uh, very difficult to see anything. Just, just dropping the basket down to the floor so we can use it. Okay, so I'm now going to jump out of this seat and go into the basket. But first of all, before we do that, I'm going to connect. I'm just trying to leave, there we go, leave the seat. Uh, I'm going to connect, uh, like I said before, this, this vehicle requires an external connection for the water if you want to use the firefighting capability uh, from the basket. So we have a truck set up here which is uh, mocked up to be uh, attached to a ground pipe. The pump is running and we've set out our distributor so we could have a second hose. However, we need the distributor and a C-type hose to connect to the ladder truck so we can do some uh, firefighting operations from the basket. So we're going to press E to unfurl. We're going to connect up our ladder truck. Here in the center at the back. And that will basically pump water from the uh, the second wagon into the ladder truck and we'll be able to use the hose at the front. So we're going to walk around, jump in the basket and take control of the basket. So we're going to press E to open. We're going to step in. Spin round, it will put us in first person view. Uh, close. Open up the panel to our, our left so we can control the basket from the front. We're going to select take over basket control here. And now we can use the same keys that we used for the back ones here in the front. The difference is we're now in the basket. So we can control the basket just like we did from the back and position ourselves because we have a better view of the situation from the front here. As you can see. Okay, so we got ourselves into position. We want to use the firefighting stuff, so we need to exit this panel. Spin round to the right side, open up this panel. In there you'll find a hose. Grab said hose nozzle attachment. Point towards fire and left mouse button gives you a jet. Right mouse button gives us a cone. Just like it did before, but this time we're up on the uh, the ladder. And the reverse to put everything back. Q to put it away. Spin round. Look at this panel to get ourselves back down. And go to external view to help with that. Spin this round back to the center. Lower ourselves down. And it's the opposite to put everything away. We need to jump into the crane seat operator's uh, place to, you know, retract it all back to normal. And uh, then go around the back and uh, undo everything we've already done. So that's a little look at all the vehicles here in uh, Emergency Call 112. Finishing off with uh, probably the most uh, complicated one of the trucks. Especially when you need to use one of the other trucks in conjunction to do the firefighting. Uh, very interesting. Absolutely fabulous what they've done with the animations and where everything works with the uh, fire engines here. So I hope they found that useful, interesting. I hope you've learned something. I certainly learned a lot making the videos and I will shall continue the uh, the video series looking, running through some of the missions and just showing you some of the basics. So that's the concluding part of the uh, vehicle basics and the uh, ladder truck in conjunction with the small engine to pump water and uh, so we can use water from the basket. Thanks for joining me. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. And... Uh, Bye for now.